Hi, I'm Jean Edelman. For decades, I've been a student of the healing arts, Reiki, traditional Chinese medicine, homeopathy, acupuncture, plant-based, and macrobiotic cooking. Join me on this journey and hear my word of the week. Great to be with you this week. I have been talking a lot about being friends with our body, tuning in to ourselves, loving ourselves. The truth is that this can be a full-time job, and as we are holding on to our physical and emotional self all day, those around us may not be so aware of themselves, and the words and opinions that they share can hurt us. They speak their mind, and they just move on like nothing has happened. Well, spoiler alert, you know what? Words matter, and we need to think before we speak. But since most don't, what we can do for ourselves, this is where we need to focus. So what we want to do as much as possible is make sure that we're spending time with people who make us feel good, people that are positive and people that are aware of their impact on the world. We want to make sure that we're scheduling quiet time because when we are with people that are are not like this. This is important because we want to process the emotions and we want to reconnect with ourselves. This is a great time to journal and to listen to music and to relax and recharge because someone has triggered something, someone has said something, and we need to take care of ourselves and that's the best way to do it. Now in our work situations, We're not in control as much, but if we can minimize the stress and understand that stress weakens our heart, and so we do want to take a break from those that are giving us the stress. We want to take a break from the media, and we want to make sure that we've got these tools for our self-care. And one of the best things for this is to get outside. So we've had an interaction with someone they've triggered something, they've been hurtful, they haven't paid attention to the words that they're using, the best thing is to get outside. Nature is our perfect friend 24-7. When we spend time outside with nature, nature's energy becomes our energy. And nature's energy helps lift us up and out of our little funk and helps bring us back into balance. Because remember... The stress and the words of these people, they are putting us into this fight and flight, which is not good to be in all the time. And we want to move from that sympathetic fight and flight to our parasympathetic, where we can rest and digest. Remember, you be you, and everyone else is just being whatever they are. And if we want to use our mental energy, to look at the person that threw the daggers, okay, but we need to limit how much mental energy we are going to spend on these people and these situations. Okay, yeah, we can ask, well, what are they going through and what's their life journey and what are they trying to prove and what's the goal of their words? Again, do we want to spend the mental energy on that? Do we want to respond to it? You know, do we want to add fuel to any of that fire? I really think it's better to focus on ourselves, to do our self-care, to get outside, to breathe, to give ourselves a heart massage because they've actually hurt our heart. And so we want to make ourselves feel better and restore a sense of self and well-being. And so When those daggers are flying, a heart massage, a physical heart massage around our heart, that is going to do wonders for ourselves because you know what? Remember, we're moving that energy. So think about it. So the person's been talking to us and throwing these daggers at us. So what we can do is we can physically wash that energy out of our energetic field. We can massage our heart. We can wash those words away. Because we don't want to hurt, we want to feel better. And so this understanding of our energy and understanding that we can wash this 
energy off and away from us. This is so important. And remember your heart massage because people are just going to be people, but we need to take care of ourselves. And so these are great ways to do it. Be outside, heart massage, understand that we can physically get that energy out of our field by just kind of brushing it away. So my word of the week is heart. The H is for heal because we can heal ourselves. We cannot change others. We can only heal and help ourselves. And so move away from the situation, breathe right, swing our arms, get outside, massage our heart, get the energy out of our field. We don't need to flare up because that means they got to us. So bring our energy close in and focus on our breath and heal ourselves. The E is for embrace. Embrace us. I can make myself feel better. I can use my positive self-talk to bring myself back into balance. As I said, you do you and I'll be me, and we will coexist peacefully. So embrace ourselves. The A is for admire. Admire ourselves and admire how far we have come. Maybe years ago, we would have flared up and fueled that fire, but now we know how to manage our energy. Now we know how to clean our energy fields. We all have this journey and we all will have bumps and scrapes. That is not going to go away, but we need to look at where we started and look at how far we have come and where we can go. All things are possible. So admire ourselves because Today is a new day and tomorrow is a new day and we don't have to get sucked into all that stuff. The R is for rise because we will rise above. We can rise above. Picture the tornado and we are standing calmly and quietly in the middle of that storm. We do not need to engage in that fray. We do not need to be bullied. We do not need to give any of our precious energy away to that situation that is not worthy. Be choosy who we give our energy to and where we spend our energy. We are special. We are lights in this world, but only to those that are deserving of our energy and our light, and we get to choose. And the T is for tune, to tune in, to always be tuned into our heart, to always be tuned into our intuition and our beliefs and our truths. And no one can take that from us. Remember your heart. Take care of your heart. Don't get hurt. Be you. Have a wonderful week.